The New York Times has filed a lawsuit against OpenAI and Microsoft, alleging that the company's AI text generators, ChatGPT and Copilot, violate the newspaper's copyrights. According to the New York Times, both ChatGPT and Copilot were trained using a vast dataset that included copyrighted New York Times stories. The Times claims that this is an obvious breach of its intellectual property rights. The lawsuit cites specific occasions in which ChatGPT either quotes or significantly paraphrases Times articles blurring the distinction between original reporting and AI-generated content. Hello and thanks for tuning in. Before we go any further, please take a moment to support us by liking this video. Subscribe and activate the bell notification feature so you'd always know when we put out new videos. And remember, sharing is caring. Okay, let's get back to it. The Times case raises serious concerns about the use of artificial intelligence in the news sector. While artificial intelligence has enormous potential for activities such as data analysis and personalization, its reliance on copyrighted content without proper acknowledgement offers severe ethical and legal concerns. According to the Times, Microsoft and OpenAI have essentially free-ridden on their journalistic efforts, benefiting from it while eroding its value proposition. Defendants seek to free-ride on the Times' massive investment in its journalism, the newspaper said. It went on to say that using the Times content without payment to create products that substitute for the Times and steal audiences away from it. According to the complaint, if the Times and other news organizations cannot produce and protect their independent journalism, a vacuum will exist that no computer or artificial intelligence can fill. There will be less journalism produced and the cost to society will be huge. We respect the rights of content creators and owners and are committed to working with them to ensure they benefit from AI technology and new revenue models said an open AI representative. Our continuous discussions with the New York Times have been fruitful and constructive, therefore we are startled and dismayed by this development. We want to find a mutually advantageous approach to collaborate, as we have with many other publishers. The New York Times reported in April that it had attempted to reach a licensing agreement with open AI and Microsoft. However, the negotiations broke down and no agreement was achieved. According to the Times, it attempted to establish a licensing agreement with Microsoft and OpenAI in April, but the talks were unsuccessful. The Times lawsuit is only one of many filed against AI-generated content. A rising percentage of writers are concerned about the use of AI in content generation. Earlier this year, OpenAI was sued by John Grisham and George R. R. Martin. Getty Images had already sued an AI business for acting illegally. The lawsuit's conclusion might have ramifications for both the media and technology industries. If the court rules in the Times' favor, it may set a precedent that requires tech companies to pay for the use of copyrighted journalistic information in training their AI models. This could result in higher costs for AI developers as well as changes to how generative AI works. A verdict in favor of Microsoft and OpenAI, on the other hand, might pave the way for even more widespread use of AI in news production, potentially leading to a profusion of AI-generated material with no proper credit or quality control. This might weaken trust in media even further and contribute to the spread of disinformation. It's also worth noting that this isn't the only enterprise selling scores with AI firms. Some media and entertainment firms have sued generative AI software companies such as OpenAI, creator of ChatGPT, Microsoft, Midjourney, Stability AI, and DeviantArt. Many of the lawsuits allege infringement of intellectual property rights. In summary, the accusations frequently allege that AI businesses illegally train various large language models LLMs, on media organizations' copyrighted content. In response, generative AI businesses often claim that the lawsuits are frivolous because their business models rely on fair use to train their AI models. Meanwhile, some media corporations are instead licensing their material to generative AI firms, though the financial specifics of such partnerships are often kept hidden. For all the internet content creators, generative AI businesses, and their investors, the stakes are incredibly high. Previous technological waves such as search engines and streaming services have appended established paid media content arrangements. Critics fear that generative AI will increase pressure on content producers by illegally acquiring and utilizing trademarked information. As a result, critics believe that generative AI threatens the viability of content creators globally. Here's an updated timeline of generative AI litigation, legal cases, judgments, settlements, license agreements, and business consequences. Starting with the most recent, the New York Times sued Microsoft and OpenAI on December 27, 2023, for alleged copyright infringement, claiming that the AI tools divert internet traffic that would otherwise go to the Times web properties depriving the company of advertising, licensing, and subscription revenue, the suit said, according to the Wall Street Journal. 
On December 13, 2023, Axel Springer, publisher of Business Insider and Politico, signed a multi-year licensing agreement with OpenAI. On August 20, 2023, the United States Copyright Office published in the Federal Register a Notice of Inquiry NOI, on copyright and artificial intelligence. The information obtained by the office will be used to advise Congress, inform its regulatory work, and offer information and resources to the public, courts, and other government entities considering these issues. A series of moves on AI businesses occurred in July 2023. The Associated Press and OpenAI have agreed on a licensing deal. According to the terms of the agreement, OpenAI will license a portion of AP's text archive, while AP will access OpenAI's technology and product experience. Shutterstock and OpenAI also signed a six-year extension. The United States Copyright Office announced a program in March 2023 to investigate the copyright law and policy challenges brought by artificial intelligence, including the scope of copyright and works made using AI technologies and the use of copyrighted materials in AI training. Getty Images sued Stability AI in the United States in February 2023, alleging that it had infringed on Getty's copyrights, according to Reuters. At the time, Stability AI stated that company did not comment on pending lawsuits. In January 2023, Getty Images filed a similar claim against Stability AI in Europe. A series of incidents also occurred in January 2023. According to Reuters, a group of graphic artists sued AI businesses such as Stability AI, Midjourney, and DeviantArt for copyright infringement. Getty Images filed a lawsuit against Stability AI at the High Court of Justice in London, alleging that Stability AI violated intellectual property rights including copyright and content owned or represented by Getty Images. In 2022, OpenAI debuted ChatGPT in November, sparking the generative AI boom. The Wall Street Journal claimed that in October 2022, OpenAI licensed data from Shutterstock and Shutterstock received access to OpenAI technology. At the same time, Shutterstock established a fund to recompense the artists whose work was used to train the AI, according to the report. To summarize, the New York Times versus Microsoft and OpenAI case is just the start of a wider discussion about the role of AI in the future of news. This court struggle could have a significant impact on how news is created, received, and monetized in the future. The lawsuit is a watersh moment in the already fractious relationship between big tech and press organizations. News organizations have spent the last decade pressing Congress for safeguards against big tech businesses that use their material for social media and search engine engagement. With the arrival of AI, news executives have launched a new lobbying effort, arguing that internet corporations do not have the right to scrape their content under the fair use restrictions of current copyright law. Some news advocates are concerned that without sufficient safeguards, artificial intelligence companies may threaten the businesses of the news organizations on which they rely to train their algorithms, posing an existential threat to both AI companies and newsrooms in the long run. The outcome of this litigation will be closely followed by news organizations, technology businesses, and legislators all over the world. One thing is certain, the lawsuit's repercussions will certainly go far beyond the pages of the New York Times. And that concludes today's video. Do let us know what you think about today's discussion in the comments section below. And you can support this channel by liking this video. Subscribe and activate the bell notification feature so you'd always know when we put out new content. And remember, sharing is caring. Take care and see you in the next video.